Whoa! Shark there. Whoa! Whoa, he took my bait. He took my bait. Oh my god, go! Shark fishing off a paddleboard? Some people think I'm crazy. But uh, if you do any paddling along the uh, Florida coast off the beaches, chances are I don't care what beach you're on, you're going to run into sharks. There are a lot of sharks there. And the vantage point you have from a kayak is amazing. And yes, I do fish for them too. They make great sport. And if you fish, especially around the mullet run, when the baits are thick along the beach, it can be spectacular. Okay, let's talk about the sharks that you're gonna see out there if you're paddling on the beaches. I'd say number one would be black tip sharks. These sharks usually range from seven foot and down, seven foot being like the maximum. You know, you're looking at something like just over 100 100 pounds and down on average. I'm talking about averages. Uh, these fish here are really cool. You'll see them following bait schools and uh, if you're fishing for them they put up a really good fight. It's not uncommon to see them jump and um, it's a great what I call light tackle shark fishing and light tackle I'm using 30 pound test to go after these uh, black tip sharks and believe it or not I do very well with the outfit. I'll talk more about the outfits later. But black tips you'll find on both coasts, on the west coast, the Gulf, and also on the Atlantic. Also down in the Keys, they're all over. And generally following bait schools. Sometimes you hear about them attacking people along the beach, and they're not attacking people, they're basically attacking bait fish, where people are mixed in with the bait fish. So they're not out you know, hunting people. They're out hunting bait fish. If you're out swimming, you're in a big school of bait. I strongly suggest get out of the water, man. I gotta tell you, because there's things eating that bait fish. It may seem cool at the time, but you want to get out. Next fish I want to talk about, and it's one of my favorite fish to go after and catch, is the spinner sharks. I call them spinner sharks because these things jump. You hook them, they're jumping out of the water. Even if you're paddling in big schools of, of spinner sharks, they're going to be jumping all over the place. It is fantastic. And sometimes in, um, let's say, off of Palm Beach in um, March, around March, you know, it could be a month before, a month after, schools of spinner sharks come down to migrate, to spawn. And it's fantastic. They are jumping all over the place. You can be paddling out there and you'll see them skyrocket and spin. Call them spinners because that's what they do. They get up and they spin. And they're about the same size as the black tips, usually 100 pounds or under. And like I say, again, great sport for for the paddleboard fishermen. You really get a good visual from that upper upper column. Next fish you probably see out there, and you may hook, especially if you go deeper and you're fishing structure, or you're fishing off reef lines and you know going off especially off say uh, Broward or Palm Beach and you're doing more offshore deeper fishing is the bull shark. Now bull shark's not one that I usually target off a paddleboard. Main reason why, you know, you could hook a 500 pound our larger bull shark. Now these sharks are huge. They're unpredictable. More people are killed by bull sharks than any other shark in the world. Okay, they're, they're not one that I go after. I do hook them from time to time and usually it's when I'm after other fish. Or they might grab my bait, sometimes they might grab a fish that I've hooked. But bull sharks are something that I don't target. Now with a 30 pound test outfit, you got a 500 pound plus sharks chances are it's going to break off and yes that's my plan if I hook a big bull shark I don't want to bring that thing in I want to get rid of it as quick as possible it is not one that I like to target they're unpredictable they can be a little bit crazy and uh, you know I let that to the guys in the big boats to play with the bull sharks now the next one is hammerheads now hammerheads if you ever see those videos you're going to see uh, videos of uh, uh, fishermen being harassed off Florida, it's usually hammerheads. They are attracted to kayaks and paddleboards for some reason. You know, they got that big head, they pick up electrical impulses. So I'm not sure if they're picking up ours or not, but it's not uncommon to have a hammerhead come up and circle you and actually bump your, your paddleboard or kayak. And they'll do it and they'll be, sometimes can be relentless at that. 
you know, they put up a good fight. I have hooked them. Again, it's not a shark that I would target. And generally, you hook them off, off, off the shore if you're out, you know, in deeper water. Although I've had him, had them come up right beside the beaches. A lot of times they're hunting rays. And I've had one come right about two feet behind my paddleboard once. So it's a fish I've caught. It's fun. I'd rather deal with a hammerhead than, than deal with the bull sharks. Those are the four. There's other sharks out there, but those are the four you're more likely going to come across. Talk about uh, tackle. Again, it's a Penn International Torque. 15. Things got about 300 yards of line. I've got um, backing of braid, 30 pound braid, and I got 30 pound mono, and I must got about 50 yards of, of um, the mono on top, and that allows for stretch. Man, you get some of these sharks that do jump, like your black tips, and especially the spinners, you're going to need that stretch. And I tie it with an FJ knot so it goes smoothly through the guides because sometimes. That mono to braid, it might be going in and out several times during, during a fight. It's a light tackle, but believe it or not, I can whip a black tip shark pretty quickly on one of these. Now the hooks that I'm using, it's just like a 7 aught. I don't use a huge shark hook, and I don't use a huge leader either. Like I say, if I do a come across a big bull, I want to make sure it breaks off. Now what I find is a light leader and a light hook, and a circle hook is what I use, that light leader will slide through its teeth and generally you're going to get that fish right in the corner of the mouth. That's where you want to hook the fish. They're going to be biting on the hook and not the leader. So I find a white, light wire leader is going to allow you to get that hook right in that sweet spot. Again, why do I uh, shark fish off the paddleboard? It's got to be the view. You just can't beat it. So guys, hope you like this video. Please, if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. Uh, i got plans for all kinds of new videos coming up here real soon. So thank you again. Till next time, this is Pete Heen. Bye.